Hello, young learners. Check out this colorful ABC puzzle. Uh-oh, looks like we lost all the letters of the alphabet puzzle. Let's look around and see if we can find them. Oh, wow. It looks like our friend Fuzzy Bear is about to eat a snack. Let's help him. What's that, Fuzzy? You want to start with the grapes? Okay. How about an apple next? Great. It's the A from our puzzle. A is for apple. Fuzzy wants one more treat. Hmm, how about a banana? Uh -huh. The puzzle piece B. B is for banana. Let's see what other letters we can find. Check out this strawberry. Oh, it has worms. Why don't we use this stick to remove them? We'll let the worms out in the garden. There you go. Oh, look. It's the letter C. C is for cat. Let's grab this green worm. Hey, what's this? It's our D. D is for duck. Look at all these colorful bees. We have a red bee, a yellow bee, an orange bee, a blue bee, a green bee. Wow! The green bee turned into the letter E. E is for elephant. This bee is purple. And our last bee is light blue. Look! The letter F. F is for flower. What do we have here? Ah, oh, it's a bowl of gumballs. Wait, it looks like there's something hiding in the gumballs. It's the letter G from our puzzle. G is for giraffe. There sure is a lot of traffic on this road. Look, a blue and a yellow car. Hey, what's that that they left behind? These are the letters of our puzzle. H is for heart. I is for iguana. Look at this awesome ball game. We put the balls in the top and they go around and around and around all the way down. Look at them go. Wow, it's the letter J. J is for Jaguar. I see three picnic baskets. One, two, three. Should we open them and see what's inside? Okay, let's start with this red basket. There are red berries inside. Now, what's in the orange basket? Hmm. It's an orange popsicle. That's a tasty treat on a hot day. 
The last basket is the yellow one. It's cheese! But what is in the basket? It's the letter K! K is for koala. Oh wow! It's a bulldozer! A bulldozer is a powerful machine used to push earth or rocks and is used in many kinds of construction projects. But what's it dumping? <gasps> it's the letter L! L is for lemonade. Look at this fun toy house. We can practice math. We can learn colors. Or play music. But we're going to put these animal shapes where they go. This is a dog. Where does it go? Here, this is where it goes. This is a ram or male sheep. This is where it goes. And this is a frog. And it goes here. <gasps> Look what was underneath our frog. It's the letter M. M is for monkey. Let's see what's on the other side of our house. Oh wow, this side has different shapes. Let's put them where they go. This orange heart goes here. This blue triangle goes here. Wait, what's this hiding underneath our shapes? The letter N. N is for nest. Look, young learners, it's our friend Dino the Dino. Hi, Dino. He has some colorful spikes. Hey, that blue one looks different. Let's check it out. Dino had our letter O. O is for octopus. We have three gift boxes. Let's open them up and see what's inside. It's a toy guitar. Now, let's open the dark blue gift box. Wow, it's a blue dump truck. One gift box left. Time to open the purple box. We have a purple and pink teapot. Wait a second, there's something else in the purple box. It's the letter P. P is for penguin. Let's visit the Critter Clinic. I think some of our letters might be hidden there. Yeah! Hmm, it's locked. If only we had, wait, what's this over here? These must be the keys to the doors. Let's use the red key on the red door. Look! It's the letter Q. Q is for question. Is there any more letters? It looks like there's another letter behind the orange door. Yes, it's the letter R. R is for robot. 
We're still missing letters, so let's look around some more and see what we can find. Let's knock on the door and see what's inside this pink and white house. Well, no answer. So let's use the key to open the door and have a look around. Oh look, there's the letter S. S is for sun. Sounds like something is happening on the other side of the house. Let's check in the garage. That car sure was in a hurry. Uh, but it left something behind. The letter T. T is for train. Oh my, look at this purple sand. I love to play in the sand. Hey, wait. It's our letter U. U is for unicorn. Let's dig some more. Wow, this sand is so soft, except for this hidden letter. It's our V. V is for van. Oh wow, we have a color matching game. Let's use the spoon to put the colored balls into the cups with the matching colors. Hmm. Let's start with a silver ball. Where does it go? Ah, the silver cup. Hmm. Now let's grab the blue ball. Yeah, the blue is my favorite color. Ah. It's the letter W. W is for well. Let's grab the orange ball. It goes in the orange cup. What color should we get next? How about pink. The pink ball goes in the pink cup. Hey, this is the letter X. X is for xylophone. We have four colored boxes. Green, red, blue, and orange. I wonder if there's anything inside. The green box is empty. Let's try the red box. I hear something inside this box. It's the letter Y. Y is for yo-yo. Let's check this blue box. Hmm, nothing in here. The last box is orange. I hope it's not empty. There's something inside. It's our last letter. It's our Z. Z is for zebra. Great job finding all the letters of the alphabet. Let's say all the letters one more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, 
J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Now that's a fun and learning puzzle. Until next time, keep learning and exploring. Bye. Hello, young learners. This is my friend Dino the Dino. Look at his beautiful yellow skin. And I see some colorful spikes on his back. Oh, and I love his playful little tail. Oh, looks like a storm is coming. We need to hide from it. Oh, this wind is very strong. Wow, Dino's spikes are gone. The wind must have blown them away. I'm sorry, Dino. I'll try to help you find your spikes and put them back where they belong. Oh, each spike has its own number. Hmm, let's see. Zero. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, it looks like we're going to be learning numbers zero to nine. Are you ready to go? Yeah! All right. I see a bunch of sand molds in different shapes. Hmm, which one should I choose? How about this one? Do you know what this is? This is a pelican. There are so many sand colors. Hmm, I think we should use the red one for the bill and the blue one for the body and how about the yellow one for the tail feathers. Red. Blue. Yellow. Whoa, it's so cute. Pelicans are water birds that have a large pouch that hangs down from their large bills. Wait a minute. What's this underneath the body of our pelican? Wow, this is one of our friend Dino's spikes. It's the red zero. Wow, 
which shape should I choose next? I'm going to go with this blue castle. Let's find the right sand. Since it's a big shape, I think we should go with purple or aqua. What do you think? Yeah, that's right. Let's go with the purple. Purple. The mold is full. Wow, that's a large castle. Castles were built to protect against attackers and show wealth and power. I see something purple. What is that? It's one of Dino's missing spikes. It's the number one. Does it go here? No. Aha! Here's where it goes. Oh look! There's something else hidden in the purple castle. I see something blue. It has the number two on it. I'm sure Dino will be happy to get this back. What shape is calling to us next? How about the flamingo? It's a pretty pink. And of course, the best color for the flamingo is the pink sand. Hmm, and maybe the blue sand for its legs. Pink. Blue. Our flamingo is such a cutie. Flamingos are a mostly pink bird with long legs. And they get their pink color from the food they eat. Uh-oh. It looks like our flamingo is hiding something. Wow. It's another spike from Dino's back. It has the number three on it. Does it go here? No, that's not right. Ah, oh, how about here in this green spot? Hmm, I love pineapple, so I think we should choose this pineapple as our next shape. Of course, pineapples are yellow, so we should use the yellow sand. Hmm, and for the crown, how about green?
yellow. Green. Pineapples are delicious fruit that grow in tropical regions like Hawaii. Hmm, I see something that's green, but it's not part of the crown. <gasps> it's the number four spike from Dino's back. Here's number four. Hmm, I really like the color blue, so let's go with this blue shark. This blue sand will go perfect with the blue shark. Blue. Ooh, this shark is scary. Sharks are large fish that live in salt water. They eat fish and other water animals using their sharp teeth. Looks like our shark tried to eat something yellow. It's the yellow number five from Dino's back. The number five goes right here in the middle. What is this big green shape? It looks like a fort. Hmm, and I'm gonna use the aqua sand. Aqua. Wow. That's what I call a fort. A fort is a strong building used during battles for protection. How about we see if this fort is protecting something? It's protecting this red spike and it has the number six on it. Here's spot number six. Let's see if the fort is protecting anything else. Oh wow, look at this. This is the yellow spike. It belongs to Dino too. Hmm, this spike is yellow number seven. 
Where does it go? Aha! It says number seven right here. So it must go right here. This shape is a bird. But what kind? It's a parrot. Hmm, let's make this a colorful parrot. Hmm, let's use yellow for the head, red for the body, and blue for the tail feathers. Yellow. Red. Blue. Oh, so pretty. Parrots are colorful birds that can copy human speech. But wait, this doesn't look like a tail feather. I know, it's another of Dino Spikes. And it has the number eight on it. Let's get it back to him. We have one shape left, and it looks very familiar. Oh, it's a dinosaur just like Dino. What color should we make our dinosaur? Hmm, how about red? Yeah, that would make a great color. Red. Wow! Did you know dinosaurs were the main animals on Earth 150 million years ago? Wow! That's a long time! Hey, why does our dinosaur have a purple spike? That's Dino's! This is his last spike. This is spike number nine. 
And it goes right here. Great job, young learners. We got all of Dino's spikes back where they belong. Let's count them. Zero. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Dino looks so happy to have them all back. Thanks for joining me and Dino on our fun and learning adventure today. Let's see what we have here. Oh wow! I see letters everywhere. And they look like animals. We have an alphabet zoo puzzle. Do you want to explore these letters with me? Yeah! All right, let's go. Hmm, let's see what we have here. It's a green A. And it says alligator. Did you know that alligators can run up to 35 miles an hour? And that their eyes can glow red at night? Ooh, creepy. So, we're looking for a green A in the shape of an alligator. Aha! A is for alligator. This is the letter B. And it's the color yellow. It says B, like in bumblebee. Do you know that bees have five eyes? and six legs? And that they are cousins to ants. That's cool, isn't it? So, we have to find a cute little bee-shaped bee. Hmm, ah, here it is. B is for bee. I see an orange letter C, and it says cheetah. What is a cheetah, you ask? Well, let me tell you. A cheetah is a big cat, and it is the fastest land animal. It can run up to 65 miles an hour. But they don't roar like lions. Instead, they meow and purr like a house cat. Where is our letter that looks like a cheetah? Hmm. Ah, I see it. C is for cheetah. I see a red letter D. And it says deer. Deer are large four-legged mammals that love to eat grass and leaves. They can also grow antlers. Hmm, let's find our deer. Ah, I see the red letter D, and it has antlers. D is for deer. The next letter is E. This letter is teal, and it says elephant. Did you know elephants are the largest animals on land? They have big ears and long trunks. So we are looking for a teal letter E. Hmm, and it's shaped like an elephant. Ah, here it is. Look. E is for elephant. What a beautiful pink our letter F is. And our next animal is a flamingo. Do you know what a flamingo is? It's a tall pink bird that has long legs. It gets its pink color from the plants and animals it eats. Do you see a pink F in the shape of a flamingo? Hmm, yes, here it is. 
F is for flamingo. Hmm, our next letter is a yellow G. It says giraffe. Giraffes have short bodies but long necks and legs, which they use to eat leaves from the tops of trees. So, we're looking for a yellow G. Hmm, here I found it. G is for giraffe. Here is our next letter. It's a purple H and it says hippo. I'm sure you can't wait to hear about the hippo, so here we go. It is a large animal that can weigh up to 4,000 pounds. It spends most of its time in the water and likes to eat plants. Wow, what a huge guy. Where are you, purple hippo? Ah, look, here it is. H is for hippo. What letter is this? It's a green letter I. And it says iguana. An iguana is a large lizard with long tail and strong legs. They can grow to be more than six feet long. Wow, that's a big lizard. Do you see our green eye? Oh yes, that's it. I is for iguana. I see the letter J. And inside it I read Jaguar. The Jaguar is the third largest cat in the world and the biggest that lives in the Americas. This cat actually loves to swim. So I'm looking for the letter J. Hmm. Ah, here it is. J is for Jaguar. In the dark pink spot goes the letter K. Hmm, what's written here? Kangaroo. Kangaroos are mammals that live mostly in Australia. They get around by hopping on their big back feet. And mother kangaroos carry their babies in a front pouch. Do you see a dark pink K anywhere? Hmm, yes. It's this one. K is for kangaroo. We have another orange letter. Hmm, the letter is L. It says lion. Lions are very large cats. Its roar can be heard for up to five miles away. They have sharp claws and teeth, which give them the nickname King of the Jungle. Hmm, where are you, letter L? Ah, oh, I found you. L is for Lion. In this blue space goes the letter M, and it says Monkey. Monkeys are playful, curious, and very smart. They are known for running and leaping through trees. Let's find our blue monkey-shaped elm. Ah, here you are. Elm is for monkey. What a pretty teal-colored N. Narwhal. I wonder if you know what a narwhal is, because I can help. It's a small whale with a tusk or horn. They have the nickname Unicorn of the Sea. Let's find the Teal Inn. Here it is. Inn is for Narwhal. Our next letter is an orange 
O. In the O, it says owl. An owl is a bird with a big head, soft feathers, and likes to hunt at night. Let's try to find our orange owl. Right here. O is for owl. In this black spot goes the letter P. It says penguin. Have you seen a penguin? Maybe at the zoo? Well, it's a flightless aquatic bird. That means it does not fly, but it uses its wings and feet to swim. Because of this, they eat lots of fish. So we need to find our black letter P. Hmm, there it is. P is for penguin. The next spot on our puzzle is red and is in the shape of the letter Q. Look here, it says quail. Quails are a small to medium sized bird with pointed wings. They like to eat insects, grains, and berries. Let's find the red Q. Oh, I have it here. Q is for quail. This letter is a purple R, and it says raccoon. That sounds like balloon, but it's an animal, not a balloon. It has grayish brown fur, a ringed tail, and a mask of dark fur on its face. They are excellent climbers and come out at night. There is only one purple letter left. Right here. R is for raccoon. Here is the green letter S. Oh, do you hear that? It sounds like hissing. Yes, it says snake. A snake is a reptile that has a long, narrow body with overlapping scales. One strange thing about snakes are that they spell with their tongue. I see a green S. How about you? That's right. S is for snake. Let's see what our next letter is. Hmm, an orange T. It says tiger in the T. What is a tiger? It's the largest cat in the world. Some weigh more than 600 pounds. They are fierce hunters and live in forests, grasslands, and swamps. Tigers are known to have black stripes on their fur. Let's look for the orange T. Aha! T is for tiger. Our next letter is a dark pink U. What does it say? Unicorn? That's one of my favorite animals. It's a mystical creature that is supposed to have magical powers. Usually, it is pictured as a white horse with a horn coming out of its head. All right, that means I'm looking for a dark pink U with a unicorn horn. I found it. U is for unicorn. This spot is for the letter V. Look here, it says vulture. A vulture is a large bird with a wingspan up to six feet. They eat dead animals and sometimes garbage. Ooh, that's gross. Oh, here is our letter V. V is for vulture. The letter W 
goes here in this blue spot. I see the word whale. Whales are the largest animals in the world. They live in the ocean. They may look like fish, but they're actually mammals. They can hold their breath for a very long time, but they do breathe air. So they must come to the surface. Where is our blue W? Aha! Here it is. W is for whale. Our next letter goes here in this teal spot. It's the letter X. And it says X-ray fish. No, that's not a joke. There is a real fish called an X-ray fish. It's a small fish whose outer skin is see-through. So you can see its internal structure. Where is the teal X? Oh, I see it. X is for X-ray fish. Wow, we're almost done with our animal letters. This red Y is our next letter. I see that it says yak. A yak is a mammal with a long shaggy brown coat. They have horns, hooves, and a horse-like tail. I can't miss this. Here is our red Y. Y is for yak. We have reached the last letter of the alphabet. The letter Z. The Z says zebra. The zebra is closely related to a horse. They are most famous for their black and white striped coat. Oh, and zebras sleep standing up. I wish I could do that sometimes. And here is the letter Z. Z is for zebra. Wow, young learners, we completed the alphabet zoo puzzle. Great job. What a great adventure. If you want more. Hello, young learners. I have a very special puzzle to share with you today. <gasps> but look, all the puzzle pieces seem to be missing. Hmm, I have an idea. Why don't you join me on an adventure to discover where the missing puzzle pieces could have gone? Yeah! It'll be a lot of fun and learning. Let's go. Oh, look. We have a gumball machine. Let's twist the handle and see what color gum comes out. It's a red gumball. Oh, wow. I see the red fish from our puzzle. All right, let's do it again. I see the color green. We have a green gumball. And look, it's the green fish from our puzzle. I wonder what color our next gumball will be. It's the color yellow. Hello, darling yellow fish. I know you can't wait to get back to your puzzle. Time to see which gumball we get next. Oh wow, it's the color pink. It's a beautiful color, don't you think? Let's get this pink fish 
back to the puzzle with the other fish. I'm so curious to see what color will drop next. Oh, it's a blue gumball. Blue is my favorite color. Hi there, blue fish. I know you'll be happy to get back to the puzzle. Twist, twist, twist. What's next on the list? Wow, young learners. I see the color light green. It's a very happy color. Here is our light green fish. Let's put it back on the puzzle board. We have so many colorful gumballs left. I guess the next gumball might be mm, white. I was wrong. It's purple. Off to the puzzle you go. I see a very adventurous gumball coming down. This is an orange gumball. And here is our orange fish. I'm putting it on the puzzle right away. We're almost done with our fish puzzle pieces. Let's see what we get next. It's the light blue gumball. Beautiful, just like the sky. Wow, guys, it looks like we only have one missing fish. Let's see if we can get it from the gumball machine. It's an aqua blue gumball. So pretty. You're going back to the puzzle, buddy. Oh, look, a trash truck. Oh no! It's gonna dump out all its trash! This isn't trash! These are the numbers from our puzzle! What's our first number? The number 1! Hmm, where is the number 1? Ah, here it is! The number one. What is our next number? It's the number two. We have one, two, fish. Let's find the number two. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I found you the number two. What number comes after the number two? Correct! The number three. We have one, two, three 
fish. Time to find our number three. Oh, uh, here it is. The number three. This is the number four. Let's count the fish. One, two, three, four. And yes, I see the number four. It's right here. The number four. Can you tell me what's next after the number four? Great job, young learners. It's the number five. And how many fish do we have? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Amazing. Hmm, now let's find the missing number five. Aha! The number five. Oh, look here. I see a bunch of clownfish on this spot. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six clownfish. Time to find our next number, the number six. Hmm, I see it. The number six. Here you go. Do you know what this number is? Yes, it's the number seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fish. And the number seven is where? Ah, oh, I see it. The number seven. Looks like we are almost done with our numbers. Just a few left. Let's count the fish on this spot. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight green fish. We need the number eight. Here it is. The number eight. Our next number is the number nine. And we have one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fish. The number nine is right here. Wow, we are on our last number, which is the number ten. We have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten starfish. Time to find the number ten. The number ten. Do you know what this is? This is a minus sign. We use it to do subtraction. The minus sign is right here. This is the plus sign. We use it when we are adding two or more numbers. And this is our plus sign. Our next sign 
is the greater than sign. We use it to say one number is larger than another. And it looks like this. Our last sign is the equal sign. We use it to show that two numbers have the same value. Here it is. Oh look, we have sand. Uh, but wait, there's something hidden right there. Hmm, we need something to dig it out, but with what? This will do. Oh, wow. We have a blue egg. Sounds like there's something inside. Look, we have the star from our puzzle. The star is a five-pointed shape. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put it on the puzzle. This is the heart-shaped piece. It kind of looks like a leaf. It is used to symbolize affection. Oh look, now I see something pink. Let's dig it out. Hmm, seems like this egg has something hidden inside of it too. Look at that. We have the circle puzzle piece. A circle is a round shape with no corners. Hmm, my little eye spies something green. Let's dig it out. I wonder what's inside. We have a trapezoid and a semicircle. A trapezoid is a four sided shape that has one pair of parallel sides. This is a semicircle. The semicircle is what happens when you cut a circle. Oh wow, do you see something purple sticking out? Let's find out what it is. It's a purple egg. It's not empty. It's time to open it up. Oh look, we have a rectangle. A rectangle is a four-sided shape that has two sets of parallel sides. Oh, just when I thought we were done, there's something else hidden right here in the sand. It is, let's see. A yellow egg. 
I think it has more puzzle pieces. Let's open it up. It has a triangle and a square. A triangle is a shape with three sides and three corners. A square is a shape with four equal sides. What's that noise? That's a vehicle transport truck. And look, it's carrying some of our puzzle pieces. Let's see what vehicles come off. Look at that. It's a cement truck. The cement truck carries cement to construction sites where it is used to build all sorts of things. The next vehicle I see is an aeroplane. An aeroplane flies high in the sky and takes people and goods all over the world. This is a fire truck. A fire truck carries firefighters and all their gear to fight fires. Let's put it on our puzzle. This blue and white car is a police car. The police drive this car to catch bad guys and help people. Do you know what this yellow vehicle is? That's right. It's a school bus. It's used to carry kids to and from school. This last vehicle is an ambulance. It is used for medical emergencies. Now off to the puzzle you go. We've almost completed our puzzle. <laughs> What's that smell? Oh no! We need a fire truck! Wow! The water from the fire truck created a rainbow! And look, they're the last pieces of our puzzle. Red. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Aqua blue. Light blue. Pink.
and purple. Oh wow, young learners. You did an awesome job helping me find all the puzzle pieces. That sure was a fun and learning adventure. For more exciting videos, please like and subscribe. Bye bye.